This is our mini plate warm up. So this would be the progression after line drills. You've done your line drills one, you've done your line drills two, student athletes are ready for something else. We're gonna go to mini plate. They're just gonna take a 45 pound plate on the floor. You can use a 25, 35, a 10 is probably too small, um, but you want something with a fairly decent profile on the ground. We're gonna keep the same uh, cadence and timing that we had on the line drill. So 10 seconds on, five seconds off, three sets of each drill. Have them spread out, they are gonna need some space for this and a good floor. But again, 10 seconds on, five seconds off. So Zach here is gonna show us, first one we're gonna do is up, up, down, down. He's gonna do it with a right foot lead, but you can do right or left foot lead. So 10 seconds on, five seconds off, up, up, down, down. Ready, go. There you go, good. Staying on the ball of the foot, and we want him quick, we want him quick. There you go, keep pushing that, keep pushing, keep pushing, there you go. That way he's moving his arms just like we want him. Go, 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 stop. So we went 10 seconds. We're only gonna do two sets on this video, normally you'd wanna do three. Second set, ready, go. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, that way. And he's working, and he's working, good. Good, staying on the ball of his foot. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and stop. Okay, so again, 10 seconds on, five seconds off. Two to three sets, we like three, but just for the sake of the video, we're only gonna show two. Next is the laterals, or the forward switch. So he's just gonna be switch, switch, switch. Shoulders relaxed, elbows 90, hands in his pockets, good arm action. 10 seconds on, five seconds off, go. There you go, good. Staying on the ball of his foot. Quick, 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 quick. That away, that away, that away. Shoulders relaxed, elbows 90, hands in his pocket. And stop. Again, we'll do one more set, you could do three. Ready, go. Good, tap, tap, tap. That away. Be running, be running, be running, be running, be running. Good, 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 good. And stop. All right. Next one's going to be a lateral pitter patter. So he's going to stand on it and go down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Ten seconds on, five seconds off. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. We're getting work on a good little change of direction on the outside there. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Good. Quick, quick, quick. Stop. Second set. Ready, go. If the athletes aren't in great shape and you have enough time and you want to go 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, you can start there as well, but we like the five seconds off. And stop. Next one's just a jumping jack. So he's going to start on top or on the bottom. Yep. Just pop, pop, pop. Quick, quick, quick. Ready, go. That away, that away. Good. You can, there's balance, there's stability, there's coordination. Quickness, a lot of things going on here. Stop. Second set. Ready, go. Good, be moving, be moving. That way, that way. Great little plyometric, similar to jump and rope again, similar to line drills, but a little more intense. Stop. Next one is our lateral switch. So he's gonna have one foot on, one foot off. I wanna keep my body pretty much over the center of the plate. I don't wanna be way over here and then way over here. We're looking for that angle that we would get on a change of direction on the side. So, good balance, good stability. Lateral switch, ready, go. That way, that way, good, good, good. Coordination, stability, quickness. Stop. One more set, five seconds rest. Ready, go. Again, these are great drills to do in a weight room because you can just have the student athletes pull the weights out on the floor. But that one, again, you, you need to have a little space with you. Next one now is probably the most complicated one. It's called lateral switch with a tap. So I'm going to actually jump over and then tap. One, two, one, two. Up, up, down, tap, up, up, down, tap, up, up, down, tap, up, up, down, tap. That inside leg just taps and then it comes back up. A lot of coordination, a lot of rhythm, but that's part of being an athlete. Lateral switch with the tap. Ready, go. Good. You want to give the mind and the feet problems and, and situations that they have to figure out. Stop. And as they do it more, boom, boom, it'll go a little quicker. Go. Up, up, down. Good. There you go. That away. That away. Good. So again, one of the nice things about this warm-up, you have some linear, but
but there's a lot of lateral components. So for your tennises, your volleyballs, baseball, softball, infielders, good practice at moving laterally. Next one's just two feet up and down. So up, up. Again, that lateral component, change of direction, quickness, balance, stability. Ready, go. Good, and you're gonna be cueing them quick off the floor, quick off the floor. Good, they're bouncing. Stop. Second set's coming. What's that? A lot of forward back there. Yeah. Ready, go. As you said, there was a lot of forward back. You have to stabilize, abs gotta be working to keep yourself in a straight line. There's a lot more going on than you give it credit for. Stop. All right. Next one then is similar, but it's just the same thing going forward. Up and down. Real quick. Ready. Go. That way. Yeah, that's nice. Good. Bounce, bounce, bounce. And you can see once in a while they'll get out of bounds. So that's perfectly okay. Stop. One more stop. Ready, go. Good, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Stop, okay then, we're gonna finish with some on the ground. So the first one's gonna be just a forward pitter-patter with his hands. Now we're showing you a lot of these drills. You could cut this up into two different days if you don't wanna do all these drills on the same day. You could go three, three sets of 10 on, five seconds off, and just do half the drills. But show us pitter patter with your hands. So he's gonna be in a good push up position and he'll just be going up, up, down, down. Ready, go. Abs stay tight. What you wanna watch out for with the athletes is you don't want their hips to sag. All right, everything should be solid through their body, through their core. Stop. One more set. Ready, go. Shoulder stability, injury prevention, core stability. Again, there's, there's a lot going on here. Strength, certainly, stop. And then the last one we're gonna look at, same thing, but it's gonna be lateral pitter-patter. So he'll straddle the weight plate, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Ready, go. Good. A little more challenging, because his hands are gonna get out wider, so he's in a little less powerful position out there. Stop. And one more set. Ready, go. Good, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Challenge them up, we're gonna be up. Can their mind and hands work quick together? And stop, good. So again, that's our mini plate series. A lot of drills there. You can certainly cut that up into a mini plate one and a mini plate two. Again, I would recommend going three uh, sets of 10 seconds on, five seconds off. We just showed you two sets, mini plate one.